Hi, everybody. Thanks to be here for this first talk about uh, the Gateway API. So first thing first, um, I shouldn't have been here. I was not the one to submit. So here is my colleague Navendu who submitted, who was accepted. So he was not part of the rejects rejects. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, he's in Singapore. So it was a bit hard for him to be on two sites at the same time. So it's me, and I'm also a developer advocate, but nobody gives a care, a damn. Um, I have 20 minutes, so I need to speed up a bit. Um, I work on the Apache API 6 uh, project, so it's an... Uh, as you uh, can imagine, an API gateway. It's built on Nginx, then you have OpenResty, which is a Lua layer. Then you've got the API 6 core that allows you to build plugins on top. I have a question. Who has no clue about like pods and services and um, not ports? Okay, one person. So I need to be very quick. Um, okay. Sorry? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, okay. That's really funny. I have 20 minutes. My demo didn't work. I'm super stressed. <laughs> okay, so I will start directly from the ingress uh, way. Just need to find the stuff. Okay. So basically, with uh, like services and node ports, everything was good. You could like get traffic into your Kubernetes cluster. The problem is you had to create one for each. Like, how do you route stuff? So Kubernetes came with this nice idea of, oh, let's create something called an ingress that can do some routing. That's good, but it's like path-based. So we can do some stuff, but it's path-based. So right now, I will try to demo some stuff. And as I mentioned, this morning, it didn't work. Magically, it works now. So I ask, I beg for your forgiveness, because, well, you can imagine um, it's not really fun. So here I have, uh, it must be a bit bigger. That already works, so I have aliased my uh, kubectl to be uh, k. Then I have my, like, updated my end charts. And then I have installed API 6, which also is an ingress controller for Kubernetes. So I'm using the Helm chart. I just, like, configure a couple of stuff. I enable the API gateway for later, although uh, here at the moment it's not necessary. I, I install, like, Two pods and two services, one left and one right, right? Uh, amazing engineering. So basically, I want to show you like this kind of uh, crazy stuff. And now comes ingress time. So ingress, I install the ingress. Normally, if everything works as expected, I can apply it directly. F4 ingress, k get ingress. Normally, it should work. So now I can try to curl because, because of the prefix, like it's quite obvious. If I query left, it should direct me to the left pods, and if I query right, to the right pods. Uh, and normally, curl. Oh, yes, it works. <laughs> <sighs> Just to be sure, um, great. Amazing. Uh, perhaps it's too small, so let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, but path-based doesn't allow you to do much stuff. For example, one of the like most obvious way is to have versioning with path. So basically, you have v1 slash whatever and v2 slash whatever, and so if you directly forward, well, the the, the pod will receive v1. And so you need to remove it before. That's not part of like the normal ingress. So what do we do? We bring annotations. And annotations depend on your implementation. In this case, the implementation is API 6. So I have annotations for that. Some other might not allow it. Some other might have different ways to apply it. So here, I will do the ingress stuff. And yes, so now I want to curl again. Sorry. 
Whoop. Okay, so I will curl local host uh, 3800 slash left slash foobar or whatever. And okay, now my prefix has been removed and I'm happy. But the problem is now I'm tied to my implementation. If I, okay, it probably won't happen, but if I want to migrate to another implementation, I need to check if it's possible, how they do it, whatever. So basically we invented the ingress abstraction, but now we are tied to the implementation again, which is not what we wanted to do in the first place. But we can do even better, because I mentioned versioning, we can do a lot of stuff, depending on the implementation. So here, I will add this object called API 6 route, which will allows me to do like other stuff. For example, I can uh, k apply zero f. Uh, I will probably need to delete my ingress first, delete ingress. I don't remember how I called it again. Uh, it's called ingress, well, which is easy. And now I can k apply six API six routes. Okay. And my routes are here. So basically now I'm leveraging all the power of the implementation through a CRD. I don't care about the abstraction. I just can query whatever I want. So here what I'm doing is I can do, do query-based routing, which is not possible in Ingress. Because for versioning, for example, you can have path-based, header-based, query-based routing, and Ingress only gives us one. So here, uh, I don't remember if I applied it. K gets, thanks. Yeah, you see I'm stressed, right? Um, so now I want to curl local host 800, and here I think I should add uh, this, and I say side equals left. Nope. I know there is something problematic here. Now this one. Yes. So here I have rewritten everything through the power of the ingress controller. But again, this is not the abstraction, this is the implementation. So what can we do? Comes the API gateway. And the API gateway, like every new stuff, is supposed to cure all your issues. Right? So it handles the, like the organizational stuff. So you would have a gateway class that is, poor, that is under the responsibility of the infrastructure provider. You would have the gateway, which is uh, under the responsibility of the cluster operator. And then every developer could handle their own HTTP routes, and everything is good. Sounds too good to be true? Probably it is. Um, so here is how you can do it. This is di directly taken from documentation. And the good thing is it should handle query-based routing. So you have exactly what I showed you with the, HT with the API 6 route directly implemented in the HTTP route. And you have no custom CRD to install. Because of course, like when you install uh, an, uh, an implementation, you need to have your custom CRE. However, you need at the moment, at the moment to install a specific CRD because the uh, API, they are not, they are not part of uh, the Kubernetes distribution. So I had to install the gateway CRDs. But at some point, hopefully, they will be part. So I can uh, remove uh, k delete. Uh, API 6 routes, and I call them routes, probably. Yep. And I can k apply HTTP routes, sorry, F. And I was so stressed that I went too fast, but it's fine. 
Um, kget HTTP routes. Yup. And normally, at this moment, it should work. Yes, it works. Amazing. And this is the Gateway API. So basically, the idea of the API, uh, uh, Gateway API is to remove any like implementation dependent configuration to just rely on abstraction. You have a question, you will save my life. You are a bit in advance. <laughs> it's a very good question. So, for example, um, I want now to do. Can you repeat the question? Oh, sorry. So the question was um, like the Gateway API is standardized among Kubernetes across all Kubernetes implementation. But what if you want more com uh, like functionality? It, uh, the answer is in a couple of slides. Um, because, for example, with the Gateway API, you can say some crazy stuff such as oh. We can filter, like what I did just before. I can like rewrite the stuff completely. So let's try to do it. Oops. Oh, no. So the validation control tells me, hey, what you are writing is just not compliant. Because I'm using the version like 0.5 of the CRD, and here the filtering is 0.6.2 experimental. Okay, just upgrade them. Yeah, but the implementation doesn't understand about it as of now. And it's not the end, because actually the problem of the uh, Gateway API, so here it works. Here, I showed you, hey, you install a gateway class, you install a gateway. Wait, well, my implementation doesn't care about it at the moment. I just did it without any gateway classes nor a gateway objects. It's just work, it's the implementation. So basically, again, we become implementation dependent because not everything is ready yet. So lots and lots of uh, products and companies are working on the Gateway API. I mean, everybody who has an ingress controller wants, yeah, yours is not there. That, uh, I forgot one. It is actually there, but it's slightly incorrect. So Blue Edge no longer is for our flagship product. Platform. <laughs> I was being so nice having all the provider, even my competitors, and you are, you are raining on my parade, right? <laughs> Okay, I, will, uh, I probably won't do this talk ever again, but I will uh, update the slides anyway. Yeah, my, 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 my conclusion about this is, uh, well, at the moment, uh, specifications are still uh, not dry, they are still evolving, so be very careful. Um, as you can see, depending on the minor version, you can have like some stuff working and some stuff not working. Uh, the implementation is even worse, there are different stages. Uh, so depending on which implementation you will you are using, uh, you need to be extra careful because not everything is supported. And um, well, the limitation, uh, probably my feeling uh, is it will be like ingress. Like everybody will be super happy at first and then we'll say, oh, but this use case isn't covered. So my gut feeling is that in a few years you will have a new object, completely new spec, and it will be um, the next one, like from uh, like not port to ingress, from ingress to gateway API, and from gateway API to the new shiny stuff. Because you cannot, it's very hard to cover every, every new use case, and we need some way of extending it, and then you will be tied to the uh, implementation. So I was like, whoa, very, very fast. Um, Thanks for your attention. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Manstodon. If you are interested about the demo, um, you can check uh, the GitHub project. I have a bit.ly so I can check if like, it's really useful because if I have demo uh, that nobody looks upon, that's not interesting. And if you are interested about API 6, have a look. Now I will, we have time for questions.
Any question? It's, it can be a very good sign, like I was super clear, super good presentation, the best ever, or it can be a very bad sign, like, oh, you don't want to shame me publicly? <laughs> it's a good sign? Thanks a lot. I mean, it's pretty clear what it's uh, providing, and just, uh, it's still not there. We're all waiting for it. So it's just a question. I'm afraid, yeah, we, we, we will be waiting for it a bit more, we will get it, and then we will start complaining again. <laughs> I'm missing scripting now. Uh, all the functions. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day.